2007 BMW X5 E70 4.8 V8 and today we're going to be replacing the engine oil. This step is not mandatory but I like to warm up the engine just a little bit couple degrees higher in that case the liquidability of the oil is going to be higher and it's going to be easier to drain it like I said you can skip this step but you're going to be draining the oil a little bit longer one thing to mention that N62 engines still have the dipstick in that case I do not like to use jack stands or raising up the front end to basically drain the oil in that case later on I'm going to be using the dipstick to measure the exact level since the car is going to be leveled already and it's more than enough space underneath of the car to work without raising the front end we have 24 mil oil filter housing t50 drain plug or allen key so first of all we're going to remove the oil filter i'm not going to be removing it all the way yet it just crank it loose until i'm going to be able to just spin it with my hands okay now we can crank it loose the drain plug which is really tight oh wow somebody we're doing hardcore crank it until it loose okay it's actually not bad and meanwhile our hands are soaking in the oil we just want to do that as well let it sit for a couple minutes for at least 10 to 15 minutes but beside that i can see that the oil the viscosity and everything looks pretty good so it wasn't uh, time or it wasn't due for oil but still I mean we did it anyway at this point I do like what I see and especially the oil filter is basically BMW so it's a OEM filter for the replacing we need to replace the o-ring right here at the base also pull the filter which is clicked inside so it's got some uh, type of clamps at the bottom just pull it out I got my pin tool Get it Germany, HEPA, it does not sense as a BMW, comes with a gasket and everything. Also we have a washer and you want to keep that one and install onto the drain plug. I like to put a little bit of lubrication from inside of the filter and lube it up the seal. Simply press it on onto the spot that you need and apply it. Make sure it's on the groove. The new filter already have rubber boot at the bottom and you simply put and install the filter. Don't try to spin it or rotate, just make sure it's not, it click. Right now, just get the new filter, insert it. Also, the drain plug, as I said, there's an O-ring on it, so you want it to remove it. Sometimes it stays on the body of the engine. You want to make sure it's not there. Now screw it back on the nut, the drain plug with the new washer on it. I'll get you the torque specs right here on the screen. I'll make it pretty snug. Then the filter. All good, all set. If you have funnel, you don't have to remove this guy right here, uh, the breather, air breather nozzle for the air uh, box. But I'm just going to remove it because it's going to be easier to record it. And on top of that, it's going to be a little bit more area to play in terms of cleaning as well as I'm going to replace the cap uh, because mine is leaking. I just clean that right here, but still, that's the thing. So I have two pin connectors, easy to remove. Then a little clamp, clamps into the front and one of the clamps is broken. At this point, I like to clean it before. And after you remove the air vent, air nozzle, uh, you have a little bit more in terms of the reaching and cleaning. Also, right behind the filling cap, it's our deep stick. So you can remove it, whatever it takes. Now I wanted to remove the cap. Next step is clean everything outside of the hole. And we got a funnel. European car formula, 5W40, eight and a half quarts, approximately plus minus. Check the dipstick. Right now it's very at the bottom. I'll add half a quart. I'm gonna start the engine. We're on a flat surface. I'm gonna check the level again and uh, we're gonna fill it up if we need it. Otherwise, we're ready to go. Thank you guys for looking at it. 
make sure to check the dipstick and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next one.